With Valentine's Day passing and the possibility of everyone not having a date during this time, the mathematics of dating might not be in your favor as of right now due to Dr. Jean Marie Leinhardt's formula of optimal stopping theory. If you have three choices for types of jam that you might buy in the store, you're going to pick one and you're going to be pretty happy with it. But if the store has 200 types of jam for you to buy, no matter what you buy, you're going to wonder if somehow with those other 199, you couldn't have gotten something better. According to Leinhardt's theory, we should date 37 out of 100 people possible, reject them all, then choose the next person who is better than the 37 you dated. And I think the, the example I gave in my talk was I was starting at 16, I wanted to be married at 32. And so then the idea is that I should date and reject everybody from age 16 to about age 23. And then I should marry the first person after the age of 23 that's better than everybody that I've dated before. Dating and relationships have altered from the ongoing pandemic. Payton Glasser believes he has found the one, but to manage his relationship with COVID-19 protocols and long distance has been everything but easy. It's definitely a struggle, you know? It's, it's hard because you obviously can't be there with them all the time. Adjusting to a new style of dating has improved some relationships by the effort they are putting to remain in them. It was hard because we're both really bad textures. It's just hard, it gets boring texting. So we kind of just switched over to more, do some short FaceTimes throughout the day and just kind of catch up and see what we did throughout the day. That's one thing that really helped us keep that connection. Ray Green, Central News Watch.